Because I want you to understand, this is the time. The, the spiritual vultures are seeking to steal your sacrifice. Why? For they anticipate your death. There are birds that gather in anticipation of your death, okay? There are large birds. I want you to look at the definition of this. I thought that was really funny. They gather. And so it's going to be your family members. I want you to catch this. A large bird of prey with the head and neck more or less bare of feathers, feeding cheaply, bald. In the spirit, they bald. And in the spirit, you got some glorious flow. Okay? They are reputed. They gather with others in anticipation of death. In anticipation of sick or injured animals or persons. They gather because they think you're on your way out. They gather because they think you're going to fall and not rise again. They gather because they think you're going to have your dreams dashed. They think they gather because they think everything you prophesy is going to fail. They gather because those the, you, have, you have made open what you believe in the Lord for, and they gather in anticipation to watch you not receive it. They gather in anticipation of your death, or death of a dream, death of a vision, death of a hope, death of the faith you placed in the Lord. But that's not what they're going to see. This message, short and to the point, the spiritual vultures, they come to steal your sacrifice. For they anticipate your death. But God, what is your sacrifice? Your joy, your worship, your belief, your patience, your praise, your obedience, your temperance, your faithfulness, your order, your holy conversation, your worship, your singing. Your house in order, for he will break the teeth of the ungodly. This is a prophetic word in the name of Jesus Christ. Behold, the people that are around you that are vultures, that attempt to steal your sacrifice that you've laid out. And in doing that, they anticipate your death as they gather to watch what they think will fail. When in all these years in faith you believe for. But instead, that table is going to be prepared before your enemy. And as the Spirit just said to me, a table ain't just for eating, it's for display. <laughs> be, prepared, be prepared to put on, be put on display. But not a display of shame, a display of glory and manifestation and evidence. Magnifying and glorifying your God. 